After reading The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson, we had an art project based on the art of Romare Bearden, who is one of the African Americans featured in the book. And he is a collagist. So we looked at his collages. Here's one of them, where he builds his pictures by layering papers, paintings, newsprint, fabrics, in order to make the picture that he has in mind. And we found this cool cake with an interesting background. And from it, we created this. And I just thought some of you might want to do a little bit more with this. And remember, art is not about making things look exactly perfect, unless that's what your style happens to be. If he wanted to make this woman look more realistic, he could. But oftentimes art is more about being more lyrical, more about the feeling that you invoke, the way you make people feel, or the way you convey how the subjects in your artwork are feeling. And sometimes he can do that better by being less exact. So we talked about our star, how it didn't have to be an exactly perfect star. Um, but I also want to talk to you about experimenting a little bit more by trying things. So if you look at this piece, you can see that they actually tore pieces of paper out and then laid them together to make this K. And that the pieces of paper are actually probably a painting that he had made, and then he used it to build this. So it wasn't about getting the exact parts of the picture into the K. It was more the colors that they made, and we kind of tried to do that with our star. But let's think a little bit bigger. Like, okay, we tried this. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you think, oh, maybe I'd like a K. So I made another background paper just so that we could experiment a little bit. And think about things like rough edges. Okay, we can cut straight edge, but what if we want to make a rough edge? If you want a really almost exact tear, then you fold your paper, make a nice strong fold, and then when you tear it, it's going to stay mostly on that line. You can see mine already wandered there. I'll move this so it's easier to see. But that's why you tear it, so that it's not exactly perfect, and it makes it maybe a little bit more interesting. So now I have a piece that's perfectly straight on one side and bumpy on the other. If I wanted to construct a K like he did, maybe I put the bumpy side on the outside and the straight side inside, or vice versa. It's however it makes me feel. This even has kind of a cool cap at the end. So maybe I'll make that the bottom and make the top of my K here. And then, let's see, let me move this so you can see the K. Here's one piece and then I need the other two legs. So here's the other part, but maybe I want something with more color in it. So maybe I'll try just tearing it and see what happens without folding. Kind of pulling down the way I want it to go. Okay, that goes all over the place. And maybe I'll find some parts that I like. So for down here, maybe that'll be the bottom part of my K. And for the top, maybe I'll keep that part. So maybe that'll be my K. Now remember to help make it stand out. This is kind of a white outline type thing to make it stand out more. Um, but we were using the sides of the crayon just to sharpen our edges of what we made. So I'm going to take this and get a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to take maybe orange to be different. Well, but my background is orange, so I won't do that. Um, I'll take this color. And I'm just going to go around the edge. And even that you can vary. Like that one was pretty narrow. Most of it went on the paper, but maybe the top I'll put more. Or I'll push not very hard, and then I'll push hard, and then I'll push not very hard. You can experiment and find what you like, what works for you. Maybe on this one, I'm only going to make it dark on this edge and see how that comes out. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. I'll just give it a try. Maybe this one, I'm just going to put it down here. Then I'm going to take my pieces, get my background, take my star off, and put my K down. Oops, I think this was the top. This was the bottom. Well, it doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. Maybe I want that dark part down there. I think I do. So there's my K. 
kind of like it, kind of think it doesn't stand out very much. But there's other things you can do too. Like if you look at his artwork, for instance, this cardinal, he used newsprint in the background. So he took a newspaper, tore it up, and used that for the background. And you can see the brown branches of the tree look to be maybe a page from a magazine that looks kind of like a door, right? Um, get permission first, but you can use catalogs or magazines and cut or tear that up and use it in your artwork too, like he did. So when I look at this, I think my K kind of gets lost in the background. Maybe I'd like to use some newsprint. So I don't have any newspaper here at school, but I found a photograph of newsprint on the internet. So I've got that right here. So I'm going to move this off and put that down. Put my K on that and see what I think. I think I like that better. But maybe maybe the newsprint's a little drab. So what if I put an edge on it like I did on this one? Okay, so move my K off. So you see how you can look at things and get ideas and try different things. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but it's kind of fun to see. Um, so I'm going to take green. I have my layered paper, so I'll get some interesting lines where they're overlapping. And I'm just going to try green around the edge. I think I like the darker green better. There we go. And I'm going to give my newsprint a colored edge. And that'll be kind of like a frame for my cake. Maybe you don't want to put color on. Maybe you want to put a couple of colors and make it like a rainbow. It's all up to you. And you can experiment. And if you love it, keep it. And if you don't love it, you can change it. So you might notice sometimes I put the K back one way, sometimes I put it back a different way. And then you can see what you like. Originally I thought I'd put that at the bottom, so maybe I'll try that. Yeah, I think I like that better at the bottom. So I like this K like this, and that looks pretty good. Um, you might want to do something more like they did here where the colors come closer to the K. So I could take that lighter green and come close to my K, but not all the way up to it. That probably would be a little bit easier if I'd already attached my K. I'm just kind of trying it without attaching it. kind of good. So maybe you want to do that. So the point I'm making is with art, it's a lot of experimentation. Give yourself permission to try things. And that way you can come up with new ideas. You'll try something and maybe think, oh, I wish I would have done it differently. How would I change it? Or maybe it's perfect. I love it. I don't want to change it at all, but maybe I want to make another one similar, but do something just a little bit different. It's all part of the process. It doesn't have to be perfect. This certainly isn't perfect looking, but I really like it. And then I would glue my K down. And that would be my composition. So in art, they talk about composition, and that's how you put your picture together. And you can layer things, change things. It's not done till you say it's done. Um, in in Mayor Bearden's artwork, a lot of times he has like solid pieces of color too. So I wanted to show you that too. I almost forgot. So even though I really like this and I think it's the way I'd want it, what if I had a solid piece of color? Like here's blue. And I could put it right in the middle of the paper. But what if I want to put it a little lower than middle, say, just to try something different and put my K halfway coming off it? Maybe I'd like that. Maybe I'd like it completely centered with my K completely centered on it. Maybe, maybe I'd go sideways with the blue and have my K running off the top and the bottom of it. So that's what I mean about artwork being experimental and finding what you like. I think I actually like it this way the best, but I'm not sure. And I do have another piece of blue, so who knows what I could do with that. Maybe I could put that down like this. It really changes the way the piece looks, right? 
So that's a fun thing about collages. You can keep playing with it. You don't have to stick it down until you're sure it's what you want. What if I didn't want the K at all? What if I wanted the star again? That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'd move that up to the middle and that would be my piece. Star on blue. So have fun with collages. You can even find like photographs of yourself and get permission first. You could cut yourself out and put yourself in the picture, into the story. It all depends on what you want to do and experimenting is a lot of fun with collages. So I hope you enjoyed this and give it a try.